Cincinnati abandoned its subway almost a century ago, and now it's a network of creepy catacombs. As far as architectural structures go, there's nothing more creepy than tunnels. They're dark, damp, and according to New York City folklore, there's a terrifying centaur at the center. It's no wonder then that urban explorers are so attracted to these pieces of construction. What mysteries lie ahead in these depths that few would dare venture? One major American city boasts a series of tunnels that have been abandoned for quite some time. When you find out what they were used for, however, you might just wonder why they're still abandoned. It may be hard to believe in this day and age, but there's a major American city with a labyrinth series of underground tunnels extending for miles that remains almost completely abandoned. Little is known about these tunnels other than the fact that they've been vacant for almost 100 years. The only people that ever go down there, for the most part, are the homeless or brave urban explorers. The tunnels stretch across two miles through the mystery city's downtown neighborhoods. If you're lucky enough to stay on the right path, you can travel through the entire system in less than an hour. There's definitely something creepy about these tunnels, which contain small rooms and chambers. Despite how worn down it looks, there's still enough structural integrity that you wouldn't have to worry about the ceiling collapsing on top of you. You may not know it from these images, but this subway is actually located in Cincinnati, Ohio. Why would a major American city still have an abandoned system of tunnels beneath its surface? For an answer, we have to look back to the late 19th century when Cincinnati rivaled New York City and Chicago as one of America's most economically important areas. It even appeared to be at the center of a technological revolution when the electric streetcar completely altered public transportation as we knew it. In 1916, voters approved a project that would turn the Miami and Erie Canal, then considered obsolete, into a 16-mile long fast transit loop. Every newspaper in the city is for the loop, said an advertisement promoting the project, and practically all of the business organizations as well as the trade unions. It was meant to be an inventive new subway system, but the $6 million project was postponed thanks to the First World War. Construction began in 1920 after the war ended, but other major hiccups literally stopped it in its tracks. Prices inflated after the war, causing the project's cost to double. When the buildings on the street level began to crack due to engineering mistakes, many citizens started to disapprove of the project. Political infighting made things worse. But the Great Depression may have been the final nail in the coffin. There simply wasn't enough money or public support to complete the project, especially as motor vehicles became more and more popular. Those opposed to the system dubbed it Cincinnati's White Elephant. The project was then discarded, making Cincinnati home to the nation's largest unused and abandoned subway system. The network has seven stations, with four underground and three above the ground. By the 1960s, automobiles had taken over so much that the project was completely decommissioned. The three above ground stations were even destroyed to make room for the I-75 freeway. The other four underground stations are still around, though with varying degrees of quality. This one is Race Street Station, which was meant to be a central hub of the system. Liberty Street Station, however, may be the most fascinating. In the 1980s, Paul Koenig, an engineering student, discovered a nuclear bunker while exploring it, complete with prepared meals, bunk beds, water, and decontamination showers. The city is actually required to maintain these tunnels because they're located under the Central Parkway. Residents have tried to encourage the city to do something with the subway for years, suggesting everything from wine cellars to malls and nightclubs. It was even used as a film set for the 1995 film Batman Forever. A plan called Metro Moves in 2002 proposed to drastically change the system, but it was opposed by a two-to-one vote. Finally, after a great deal of political wrangling, a new streetcar system was launched in September 2016, known as the Cincinnati Bell Connector. It runs for 3.6 miles on a loop that brings together several sites downtown. Sadly, Cincinnati remains one of the biggest cities in the United States without a working mass transit rail system, despite the fact that the city is plagued with traffic and congestion problems. There's still no plans to renovate the tunnels themselves, leaving it nothing more than a curiosity now. It seems like Cincinnati could really use those tunnels, even if not for their original purpose. Hopefully, city officials figure something out soon. In the meantime, they're sure to attract plenty of brave adventure seekers. Share this fascinating subway with your friends below.